Getting up and getting ready for the day. Alarm clock rings, we jump out of bed. Stop. We hear so many people say their backs are tight and sore when they first get up in the morning, and as the day goes on, it loosens up. So before we jump out of bed, let's not miss an opportunity to improve our health. When we wake up, it's a good idea to do a nice, slow stretch by reaching our hands over our head, stretching our feet and toes down, while giving our body an internal squeeze. It can also feel good with our feet together to let our knees fall away from each other to the sides, opening up our hips like a butterfly stretch. While in the butterfly stretch, you can also do some gentle side stretches. Then we can pull one leg at a time into our chest, then both. While doing your first morning stretch or stretching with your knees into your chest, you can alternate flexing one foot at a time and pointing your toes. You can add flexing your feet to many different leg, hip, or low back stretches. It is equally beneficial to add stretching to your hands when you're doing your arms, shoulders, neck, or upper back stretches. With both knees into the chest, you can do small circles with your knees. Next, we could do gentle windshield wiper movements with our feet on the bed and with our arms straight out to our sides for support, allowing our knees to slowly fall from one side to the other while keeping our back flat. Our tailbone should be tucked under in a neutral position with our core engaged. Remember to use smaller movements when we first are getting up. If there's some soreness or pain, only bring the knees into the chest And if you feel okay, do small circles with your knees. Do this for a couple days before attempting to add any twisting motions. We should not do twisting movements when we are in pain. Our intelligent body is the ultimate doctor and will use discomfort and even pain to tell us exactly what it does and does not want us to do. This communication, discomfort and pain, aka symptoms, guides us to better meet the needs of our body This information in this book is a good starting point, but our bodies may require slight variations and requirements to meet its specific needs. Consult with us or your chosen health professional to help you determine your body's specific needs. It is important with any stretch we perform that we warm up and start with smaller movements first because we always want to be warmed up before we go into deeper stretches. As we turn to our side to get out of bed, we can do a little side stretch by using our forearm to hold our upper body away from the bed as the sides of our hips and legs rest on the bed. Then move to the foot of the bed to stretch the other side of our body. When you are ready to get out of bed, do not kick yourself up if you are lying on your back. You should get out of bed by lying on your side first It is also important when we are lying on our side before we get out of bed to not push with our elbow that we are lying on and use our shoulder muscles. The body is too heavy to be lifted by our shoulder alone and this could cause a shoulder injury. Either side we sleep on is fine but can depend on what side of bed we get out of or if there's an injury that we need to take into account. The best way to get out of bed is by lying on our side and allowing our feet to come off the bed while the hand from the top arm pushes off the bed. This will cause our body to teeter onto our bottom to a sitting position without having to use our shoulder, stomach, or back. We should take a couple seconds here to sit up tall, engage the core, and go through small gentle range of motion exercises with our neck and back to pump the disc and get them ready for gravity. Now it's time to get up. With our head and shoulders over our hips and our hips over our feet, we can stand using our legs. We can also use our hands to push off the top of our legs to keep weight off our back. We want to use our legs as much as possible and our back as little as possible. Getting up from bed can be another winning moment in the quest for the 24-hour workout. There are three ranges of motion for our neck, which is the cervical and upper thoracic spine, and back, the mid-thoracic and lumbar spine, that need to be exercised each and every day. They are flexion extension, putting your head forward and backwards, lateral flexion, right and left, which is tilting your ear to your left shoulder and tilting your ear to your right shoulder, 
and right and left rotation, which is looking over your shoulder to the left and looking over your shoulder to the right.